Well, today is the first of a very somber and emotional few days as St. Louis honors fallen hero and firefighter Benjamin Polson. Polson died last Thursday fighting a fire in an abandoned house in North City. Fox 2's Amelia McGavro is live now at Cutis Funeral Home where tonight's visitation took place. Amelia. Yeah, Vic, you know, tonight really painted a picture of how close a family the St. Louis Fire Department is and how many loved firefighter Benjamin Polson. Of course, we know that Polson was the first firefighter to die in the line of duty in 20 years, and he died doing the job he was called for. It takes a special person to bring this many people together on such a bitterly cold night, but firefighter Benjamin Polson was not only special, he was loved. Chief Dennis Jankerson knew Ben years before he even wore a badge. Well, we knew Ben starting around eight or nine years old when he was playing hockey with one of the clubs that I helped coach. It's still very difficult when you run into certain acquaintances that you know you have certain connections with and it, 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 it makes it very tough to hold it together. Polson died last Thursday at just 33 years old. He was battling a large fire in an abandoned house in North St. Louis. Polson was looking for anyone who could have been in the home when the roof collapsed on him. Deputy Chief Ken Smith was there. You know, we, we always seem to find our own and uh, the closer I got and the more time went on, I just had a just a real, real sick feeling, you know, in, in, in my body and and when we got there, I knew it wasn't good. Ben earned his MBA, a law degree, and even was a ski instructor in Colorado. But in 2019, he followed his calling and joined the St. Louis Fire Department, a legacy started by his dad, James. He's a retired fire captain. Uh, he would do anything you asked of him. Ben would do anything you asked of him, you know, and uh, he was just that, that kind of guy. He gave it 100%. Ben was also known for his killer dance moves and a fun personality. Jankerson says he's gotten messages from fire departments across the nation and even across the world. One left hand turn, you make it out. One right hand turn, you, you don't make it out. So they get that. They understand what, what happened. So it, 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 it helps. The funeral will be held at 10 a.m. tomorrow at the Cathedral Basilica, followed by the inurnment at Resurrection Cemetery in Afton. And Governor Mike Parson has also ordered all flags across the state to be flown at half staff from sunrise to sunset tomorrow. Live in Afton, Amelia McGovero, Fox 2 News.